Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am Mr. Photographer. Dot com. Today I want to talk about something that was added to Photoshop late last year. It's kind of hidden in Photoshop though. It's something called Quick Actions and as the name implies it allows you to do something relatively quickly to an image. Now I mentioned it's kind of hidden. To get to Quick Actions you have to go to the Help menu down to Photoshop Help and when you do you'll get this Discover dialog box and in it you'll see right here are quick actions. If you click on that you'll see there's a number of quick actions you could apply to this image. Let's move it over here and try one. Let's remove the background. I'll click on that and at the top it'll kind of tell you what this does. It removes the background but also at the bottom you'll find some help either articles or like hands-on tutorials so you could learn how to do this without using a quick action. So you could learn some photo, uh, Photoshop techniques instead of just clicking the apply button, which I'll do here. And you could see it does a pretty good job of removing the background. Now it's non-destructive in that you could just click on the revert button and you'll be right back where you started. So you could try these out, see if one looks good on your image or not. Let's go back and try another one. Let's blur the background. So we'll click here. And I found that um, it goes online and if you don't have an active, um, if you're not actively online, this apply button will be grayed out and it won't allow you to do it. So it must do something online. I just want to make mention of that. So I'll click apply and we'll blur the background. You can see how it blurred the background. Now if you want to change the amount of blur, if you look over here on the right, you have your layers. Just double click on Gaussian blur and you could blur less by moving that slider to the left or blur more by moving it to the right. So you could adjust that. I'll revert and I'll go back. And let's try another one. We're not going to do all these. Uh, let's see. Let's add a lens flare. And we'll click apply. And that, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I kind of like that. I'm not a real big lens flare fan, but I kind of like that. So again, uh, whenever you pick any of these at the bottom, you'll see some related articles, maybe hands-on tutorials. Not always, but hands-on tutorials are really effective in Photoshop. I found they really help. And just, you know, general information about the effect and how you could go about learning how to do it without using one of these quick actions. Uh, so um, pretty cool. And you could, you could stack them. So for instance, I just added this lens flare. Let's go through and just add something else. Let's just add a vignette. So we'll go to a vignette and I'll click apply. And you could see then I added the vignette on top of that. So, um, I think they're pretty interesting and it will really maybe help you learn Photoshop as well if you take advantage of the help files that are below the action once you click through. So if you want to make the background black and white or you want to learn how to do it, it's down there. Click apply and you have a black and white background. So quick actions in Photoshop. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.